Is this one of the best Jordan sneakers to drop all year? Let's find out. All right, so the package came in. I'm really excited to check it out. I've been waiting all day to open it. I saw it was delivered and I didn't get home until just now. So I wanna pop this guy open, see how they feel, see how they look. I actually have not seen these in person. Well, obviously they don't come out for like another couple months, but uh, I have seen some people do reviews on them. I just haven't watched them because I didn't want to taint this review without the people's opinion. So here we go. Ooh, the box, look at that. That's crazy. Like I said, I have not watched anyone's review or even read anything about this sneaker yet. By the time this review is over, I'll have done research, I'll know what I'm talking about when it comes to the sneaker. But as of right now for this unboxing, I'm coming in fresh, baby. This is all, this is all natural and I can't get out of the box. Maybe I should have cut a little more than this. All right, so here we go. So the box is this really nice black satin finish. I love it. You've got this really nice gold Nike logo right there on the top of the box. I love gold! Which contrasts the satin black really, really nicely. You've got gold Nikes around the outside of the box. And then even this little like line at the bottom of the box is also gold. This actually might be my favorite Jordan 1 box that's released over the last couple months. I'm like looking at every other Jordan 1 box that I have. I really love the Lost and Found box, but this, this might be it. This is actually a really fire box. Okay, so we grabbed a size nine, which is my true size. And the official colorway of this shoe is black metallic gold Palomino. Now, I didn't know there was gold on this shoe. I'm gonna be honest with you, I had no idea. Okay, we've got the, the goat stuff inside, like the verified uh, card, We've got the goat sticker, and then, whew, these are actually really, really clean. I mean, I didn't think that they wouldn't be nice, but this is actually way nicer than I thought. Look at this. Wow, I love them. Oh, I got a little bit of a scuff there, unfortunately, but uh, it's kind of like a new buck, but it's also kind of like a, a matted new buck. I'm not sure exactly what kind of leather this is, but it's really nice. But first impressions, I actually dig these a lot. I love the bread colorway. I love the color blocking of the bread and this brown and black. I actually might like these more than the mochas, at least at first glance. The more I look at them, the more that I might not. But as of right now, I'm kind of feeling these. So the Air Jordan 1 Palomino is slated to release on September 2nd for a retail price of $180. But as we all know, because we're still like three months out from the release of this shoe, it is very possible that the release date might change between now and then. It happens a lot with Jordan brand. So if you want a pair of these, just stay on top of the release information. If you guys follow my Sitter Cell series, I'll make sure to keep you guys apprised of that. But it's very possible that this shoe might release later or earlier, depending on how Jordan brand feels that week. But I've gotta say that after owning this shoe for a couple days and wearing it around, I love this colorway. It's super clean, it's super wearable. It's got that bread color blocking like I mentioned earlier. And I get that brown Jordan 1s weren't really a thing until the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1s a couple years back. People didn't really care about them, but uh, they've really taken off. And I personally like this more than the mochas. I think, I, I do, I think I like these more than the mochas. I mean, it makes sense that Jordan brand is playing off the Travis Scott hype and they're just dropping a bunch of brown Jordan ones and I'm here for it. It's definitely a more dressed up, more adult Jordan one in a weird way. And I know Jordan ones aren't as popular as they once were. Some colorways do still sell out, but a majority of them you can find in store like weeks after release, which is kind of crazy to me because it's still my favorite silhouette. I actually love the fact that you can still find them in store because it means I can get pairs for retail or even at the outlet. A shoe like this, I do think has the power to really sell out and sell out very quickly because of how clean this shoe is and how much it reminds people of not only bread ones or bread color blocking, but also shoes like the Travis's. Now to be fair, I don't think this shoe is gonna be as popular as something like the Mochas and the reason for that that is just because Jordan 1s aren't as popular as they were a couple years ago, but I do think this is going to be one of the more popular Jordan 1s of 2023, at least one of the more popular non-collaboration Jordan 1s of 2023. So obviously you can grab this pair when it releases, September 2nd or sometime in September, but I grabbed my pair off of GOAT. I grabbed it for like $450. I don't remember the exact price, but I'll put it up on screen for you guys. If you wanna grab a pair of these early, I've made sure to leave an affiliate link to GOAT in the top of the description below. It's a great shoe, and I think this is one of those shoes that while it definitely has that sort of fall vibe, you could rock it in the summer, and it would go with a lot, because I mean, brown and black goes with a lot of stuff. But hey, at this point, why don't we talk about the materials that make up the Air Jordan 1 Palomino, which by the way, Palomino is a generic horse, apparently, according to Google. I didn't know that, I just thought it was a brown, but I guess horses are brown, so that makes sense. Actually, the exact definition is a pale golden or tan colored horse or pony with a white mane tail, originally bred in southwestern United States. Okay, well, not exactly what I thought, but it is kind of a, a pale tan, I guess. I don't know. So it's a horse themed Air Jordan 1. Actually, come to think of it, it's not the only Palomino themed Air Jordan sneaker to release this year, but in my opinion, it's by far the best. But getting back into the materials, starting off around the toe of the sneaker, you've got this black leather mudguard. Now, the leather used on the mudguard is nothing special. It's kind of your standard black Jordan brand leather. It's not even really tumbled, but it feels fine. It's unremarkable. It's just more of the same. In the center of the toe, you've got this sort of like chocolatey brown, super short nubuck material. At least I, I think it's nubuck. It's a great looking material, but as you guys saw in the unboxing, it does get scuffs very, very easily. In fact, 
fact, my entire shoe has some pretty minor scuffs all over it. Now it kind of looks like a leather bag, which I actually think makes leather bags look better when you have scuffs on them. It makes it look a little bit more used. But when it comes to sneakers, while I don't mind things like creasing scuffs, I'm not as big of a fan of, so I guess I'll have to wait and see how this wears over time. But it's just something to keep in mind when you grab a pair of the Palomino ones, there's a chance you're gonna get a scuffed up pair. In fact, the chance of you getting a scuffed up pair is much higher than you getting a non-scuffed up pair. But again, it kind of adds to the character of the shoe, so it's not the worst thing. Continuing up on the shoe, you've got more of that black leather on the eye stay of the sneaker, and weaving through the eyelets on the shoe, you've got these flat black laces. Now, unfortunately, you don't get another set of laces inside the box. Actually, am I missing laces anywhere? I don't think so. Okay. So yeah, just black laces. Not sure why. I'm surprised they didn't give us brown laces, but it is what it is. Actually, because there's gold hits on the shoe, I I'm kind of surprised they didn't give us like gold laces, or at least yellow laces. They tend to do that. Pick the most like random accent color on the shoe and then make a lace color out of it. But they didn't do it in in this case, they just gave you black laces, so there you go. Underneath the laces, you've got your standard Air Jordan 1 nylon tongue in black, and at the top of the tongue, you've got this Nike Air tag with the Nike Air embroidered into it in sort of a, a goldish color. It's not really a metallic gold, it's more of like a very light yellow, but I think it's a nice touch, and it obviously matches with the box. Gold! I usually prefer when they make the Nike Air branding on the shoe the same color as the secondary color on the sneaker, like for example with the red ones, you've got red on there, but in this case, I actually do think it brings a nice little pop of color to the rest of the shoe because it's a pretty quiet and simple and subtle and low-key looking sneaker. Like it adds a nice little hit of something to it because otherwise it's just like a very muted brown and black shoe, which for some people might not be it. For me, I'm about it, but I get if you're not. Moving inside the shoe, you've got your standard black fabric sock liner and then rounding off the inside of the shoe, you've got a black insole with a Nike Air branding printed on the heel in metallic gold. Maybe not metallic, maybe it's more of like a sparkly gold, but either way it glistens. But I mean, honestly, it doesn't even matter. It's gonna rub off like the third time you wear the shoe anyway, so who even cares? But now let's get into sizing and fit. Got some new shoes, and the siren started again. They must be after you, cause you got fire. I got some new shoes. I don't want to get your opinion. I like oh. the neutral color. I can't figure out. Is this like suede? Is this new buck? What is that on the heel? It looks like a flattened out like suede. I mean, it looks new buck to me. My wife used to design leather bags, so she knows a lot about leather. I defer to her whenever it comes to leather, so I'm going with new buck. I hope. Guys, I'm trying on this pair of shoes to give you guys an idea of how they fit and just to see if they fit like regular Jordan 1s. I'm assuming that they do because they look like regular Jordan 1s, but I just want to give you guys like my full first try on experience. Before we do this though, I do want to give a huge shout out to Apothecary, my sock brand. We've got this brand new camo collection dropping for the 4th of July. I know this is not for 4th of July colors, but we do have a blue one and a red one. So we got some sort of 4th of July colors dropping this Friday. Link and info right there, so make sure to check it out. First impressions, standard Jordan ones, nothing special. <laughs> really like the way that these look a lot, actually. I really, really like this brown a lot, especially with these sample apothecary cargos, which aren't coming out for months, so don't even worry about that. They feel good. I like them a lot. What do you think? Do you like them? Yeah, they're nice. They make me look cool. Let's go with your outfit. Thanks. I try to look cool for you sometimes. Not all the time, though. You're always cool to me. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> they feel like standard Jordan 1s. When it comes to sizing, if you've never tried on a pair of Jordan 1s before, make sure to just go to your local sneaker outlet, try on a pair. It doesn't even have to be an outlet. It can be your local Foot Locker or whatever. Go to your local sneaker store, try on a pair of Jordan 1s because all the recent ones fit the same to make sure that the sizing is right for you before you drop the money on them. These ones are 180 bucks, so they're not cheap, but they're also not like crazy expensive in the grand scheme of Jordans. So try them on, make sure the fit's right for you. But for me, I tend to go true to size. I'm a size 9. These are a size 9. They fit me fine. So. Uh, uh, if you can only buy them online, go through true size and you should be just fine. Unless you're like a super wide footer, in which case maybe go up half a size. But generally I would say true to size with Jordan 1s and you're good to go. I like them. I think these are super clean. I love the neutral tones, like you said. And they look even better. Some camo apothecary socks, which actually match the shoes and the pants. It's crazy. Oh, also, there's a gold hit in the tongue. I don't know if you saw that. It's actual gold. Not actual gold, but it's shiny. All right. Okay, well. I guess that's that. Continuing back in the shoe, you've got some more standard Jordan brand black leather on the midfoot. Nothing that exciting. And then on top of that, you've got some more dark brown nubuck making up the Nike swoosh. Moving even farther back on the shoe towards the heel, you've got more of that nubuck. And then on the nubuck wing area on the lateral side of the shoe, you've got the wings logo in black. Around the top of the ankle, you've got some black leather like you do on your bread ones or any other bread colorway sneaker. And then moving down on the sneaker, you get to this almost white or I guess sail colored Air Jordan 1 midsole. And finally rounding off the look, you've got this matte matching brown rubber outsole. So overall, the Air Jordan 1 Palomino, in my opinion, a really great release. Is it the most exciting Jordan 1 or even Jordan of this year? Probably not, but it's definitely one of the most solid. It's a colorway that you can wear with a lot of different things. The materials, while not exceptional, are definitely solid and look great. And uh, it's a shoe that I think a lot of people are gonna be going for. So even though there's a lot of pairs available, I mean, obviously a bunch of people have already grabbed pairs to review and whenever people are getting pairs like two or three months early, either they're fake or there's a bunch of them available. And I think in this case, there's just a bunch of pairs available. 
available. So if you want a pair of these, you shouldn't have too hard of a time grabbing them around September, or again, you can use my link to GOAT in the description below. And actually also while you're down there, maybe check out the upcoming Apothecary Camo Collection. But getting back into what I was saying, I don't think it's gonna be that difficult of a shoe to grab. However, I do think it will probably sell out on release day. So if you want a pair of these, enter all the raffles that you can. I think you'll have a good shot if you do that. I really think it's one of the best Jordans to release all year. Not the most exciting, but one of the most wearable. But hey, at this point in the video, I would love to know your thoughts on the Palomino ones and whether it's a shoe you're looking to pick up in September. So let me know those thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.